Hi, I want to show a couple shortcuts that will make the first stages of working on a new structure a lot more efficient. We won't have to uh, manually enter every atom for the whole rest of the semester like we did on our first structure. I'm going to start by going to the directory that uh, <coughs> that our ANS and HKL files are in, and I'm going to solve this with shell xt instead of shell xs. Oh, I better give it the file name. Shell XT runs pretty quickly. <clears throat> One important thing to notice about this is you're going to get a solution in every possible space group uh, or every space group that Shell XT considers possible for the structure. There's only one possibility in, in this example, uh, and it's the one that we already know is correct P212121. So we get that uh, output under the name week one underscore one underscore A dot res. And I'm going to open this in Olex. <coughs> so we can see the output that we got from Shell XT and clearly it's pretty good already. We have every atom named correctly if uh, or every atom type assigned correctly I should say. If that wasn't the case we could fix it at this point but um, since since we have the basic structure here, we're going to go ahead and name these atoms in a in a way that makes sense. So first, I'm going to type labels so that we can see how they're named currently and what you get from Shell XT. It's pretty arbitrary names. It, everything gets a three-digit number, and they don't go in any particular order. So the first Olex trick for naming atoms is to just type the word, select the atom, type the word name and give the name that you want. This is carbon 1, this is sulfur 1. Next we want to name this whole side of the molecule starting from the nitrogen all in order starting from N11. So I'm going to type mode name 11 which is the first number that we want to assign and now automatically we're going to go around clicking these in order and they're going to get numbered in order. When I'm done with this side, I'm going to hit escape. I'm going to go over to the other side, do mode name again. This time we're going to start with 21. This is 021. I'm going to go around the ring. It's nice to keep rings all together. And then after that, I'm going to come over here and get the methyl group last. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. And now the structure is named. Uh, we can we can save a file with these new atom names. Let's uh, let's call it file named ins. And come over to our terminal and take a quick look at that file that we just made. Uh, I'm going to open this in Vim. Named ins. Okay. Everything <coughs> is pretty familiar here. We have uh, we have a lot of the same instructions that we've um, that we've gotten used to. Shell XT is going to put a few comments in here, but they start with rem, and that means the Shell XL is going to ignore them, and it's pretty safe for us to ignore them too. Olex2 puts some information in here as well. This is just so that Olex knows where to find the HKL file for the structure, but we're not using. Uh, Olex to do our refinement anyway, so we don't need to worry about that. Finally, we have our atoms down here, and you can see they're named appropriately, but they're in random order right now. So we want to fix that too, and it turns out that's pretty easy in Olex. I'm just going to type sort plus n, enter. It gives me the order of the atoms after uh, after sorting. It's it's exactly what it sounds like. It goes in numerical order, and now we can now put a new file. Uh, we're going to name it file sorted. Ins. Now we can come back over here, I'm gonna edit sorted. Ins, and everything is in order. So this looks good. We have our least squares instruction. We have a few other things that Olex added, and they're. Uh, it, it's pretty close to what we want, but we're going to come back later on in the future and uh, and learn how to set that up exactly the way we want it. But for now, this is a good start, and we can proceed with 
making the structure anisotropic, adding hydrogen atoms, and adjusting the weighting scheme. But we've already done that, so we're not going to worry about it again in this video. Thank you.